whatever. I need a Hager so they can go looking for one. You stick a wire. Let's say the fracture's here. You're going to stick a, a wire. I prefer to go two teeth away okay, from the fracture. If you're holding the maxilla like that. Yeah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> two teeth. And then let's, see, let's do a mandible. <laughs> And the more you bend these wires, the, the, the more friable they become. So try not to bend them too much. And then let's say the fracture is right over there. Okay? So two teeth that way, and then two teeth that way. So go across there. And of course, don't forget your local anesthetic. Grab it to bend to uh, twist the wire. You're gonna grab it right over there <coughs> where they come together. And the key here is make sure this is also flat in the back. It's mm -hmm. just not, you know, make sure that's flat. You're pulling, you're holding the segments, maybe have an assistant or, or get them to, uh, you know, bite down if they can or get those segments. Uh, Manipulated and you know when you got them nice and numb and uh, get it into that position where the occlusal plane is level now you don't have that step off right and then you can take this and just twist 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 okay when it's snug you'll feel it if you twist it too much it's gonna break all right and you just cut that no nope, yep right there okay. Then when you cut that, then you just twist it so it doesn't get in their cheek or anything like that. Just that one move right there will help reduce the segments where it's not moving, flopping around, and will help them, their pain levels, tremendously. Okay, so everybody put a bridal wire on between um, 